All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh being named the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists. Baha Hashem in the name, Yahweh Shai being the only begotten Son, meaning He, he delivers, He saves. Rakakwadash, Holy Spirit, double honors to all those apostles, the great most of every well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. Back into another through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bash Shemel Shai, Lord, when this video is edifying. And I just wanted to touch on this, man. We have no confidence in the flesh, man. Okay, our confidence does not lie in the flesh. Our confidence lies within the spirit, within the fear of the Lord, within the glorification of Yahweh Bash Shemel Shai. Not from earthly things, man. Okay, because if you have confidence in earthly things, then ultimately, you know. You have confidence in something that's base and corruptible and something that doesn't abide forever. OK, now the scripture do say the earth abideth forever, but the carnality of this world will not. OK, because what do people mostly uh, have confidence in? They have confidence in their career. They have confidence in their car, you know, the earthly tabernacle that they have, a.k.a. their human bodies. You know, they might have confidence in their surround system in their car but guess what when the lord destroys this place man all that stuff is going to be wiped away with man so why would you want to put your trust in that matter of fact let me get this real quick even though this is a different scripture but it can still apply to a certain degree first john 2 and 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him for the all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world and the world passeth away. Which world is that? Esau's world and Esau's world will be passed away by way of ICBM nuclear missiles. OK, it says and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. That's right. So that's where your confidence really should lie in. Your confidence should lie in Yahweh Bashem Shai, not in things of the flesh. Okay, this is a uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes 32 and 21. Be not confident in a plain way. That's right. Don't be confident in a plain way, man. Don't be confident in, um, you know, something that's earthly, man. Okay. There's nothing to be confident about earthly things, man. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. You got a lot of dudes who are real proud and they glorify in things that are corruptible. This is Sirach Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? <laughs> you know, why is earth and ashes proud, man? We are nothing but earth and ashes. Now, through the spirit, you know, when we repent and come back to our Lord, he's going to he's going to change us and he's going to glorify us, you know, and give us angelic bodies and give us the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. But Prior to that, you know, and even then, you know, we, we, we don't glorify of ourselves. We glorify Yahweh Bashmel Shai. But, you know, even now in these times right now, being earth and ashes, man, what is there to be proud about, man? There's nothing to be proud about, man. Okay. And then on top of that, we're in captivity, man. And it doesn't matter if you make millions of dollars. Guess what, Jake? You're still a slave because who do you have to answer to at the end of the day? You got to answer to Esau, man. Watch you evade your tax a tax money you know watch you don't pay your taxes esau gonna come after you and your millions of dollars man okay so who was the one really calling the shots here man well you got jake that's proud as hell and they glorify in earthly things man why is earth and ashes proud there is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man for such an one setteth his own soul to sell because while he liveth he casteth away his bowels that's right and that's talking about sellouts of our people man and a lot of our people who sell out to this system, sell out to this beast system, they glorify it in earthly and fleshly things, man. But we have no confidence in the flesh, man. Okay? Our true confidence lies within the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Okay? Matter of fact, the scriptures say, with the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Okay? All right? Job 4 and 6, is not this thy fear, thy confidence, thy hope, and the uprightness of thy ways? Okay? This is... Uh, Proverbs 3 and 26, for the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Proverbs 14 and 26, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge. That's right, man. So the Lord is the one who is our confidence, man. 
that's where we put our trust in, you know? When someone tries to belittle you or shoot you down, we know that we have confidence within Yahweh Bashmel Shai. And the more that we fear the Lord and do right by him is the more that confidence will grow. We don't have confidence in earthly things. Why would you put confidence in something that's corruptible and that, you know, is not everlasting? Okay. It says Isaiah 30 and 15. For thus saith the Lord power, the Holy One of Israel in returning and rest shall ye be saved in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength and ye would not that's right a lot of our people they don't want to have rest and quietness and be saved and have confidence within the lord they rather you know do it on their own way that's why they're going to eat, eat of the fruit of their own devices man okay now let's go ahead and get this priest of this philippians 3 and 3 it says for we are the circumcision which worship the most high in the spirit and rejoice in mashiach and have no confidence in the flesh that's right OK, because now you can also apply this to the circumcision versus the uncircumcision. You had the Israelite foreigners who were known as the uncircumcision back in these times. And they would follow Yahweh Shai spirit, but they didn't have they weren't circumcised in the flesh. They still, you know, were they still grew up from those Greek customs. But the Jews back during those times, they were having confidence in the flesh, so to speak, because they grew up in Israel's customs, which those customs is circumcision. But, you know, we don't have confidence in the flesh, man. OK, even if you are a circumcised brother, you know, which is a good thing to be circumcised as a part of our customs, as a part of our law. All right. But we don't put our confidence in things of the flesh. We put our confidence in the spirit of Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Philippians three and four, though I might also have confidence in the flesh. If any man, if any other man think it that he whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. So the Apostle Paul is saying, look, you think you trust in the flesh? You think you got confidence in the flesh? I have more. OK. And the Apostle Paul was basically saying this to prove a point that, look, you know, our righteousness is not of the flesh. Our confidence is not of the flesh, but it's of the spirit. OK. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin in Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. You see, so the Apostle Paul pretty much. He, he was a very zealous and devout man of the Lord, you see, and he had that confidence in the flesh, but he didn't put his confidence in the flesh. He put his confidence in the things of the spirit. And in modern days times now, our people put their confidence in things of the flesh as far as carnality. You know, Jake might have a lot of muscles or Jake, you know, got a lot of guns or they might have a fast car or speaker sound in their car and LED lights and shit. You know, they might got a lot of money. That's what Jake puts their confidence in, man. But we, being the hopefully elect, we shall put our confidence in Yahweh Bashmel Shai, man. All right. It says, uh, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Mashiach. Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that i may win my shiak. that's right you got to be willing to give up everything man all right that you may win yahweh shy okay everything has to be looked at you as dung you can't get attached to nothing in the society man so why put your confidence in that okay your confidence needs to be in yahweh bashim el shot okay it says and be found in him not having mine own righteousness which is of the law but that which is through faith of Mashiach, the righteousness which is of the Most High by faith. That's right. Because our works, is, it, it's not just strictly based off of our works. It's scriptures say faith without works is dead. So you have to have faith in this thing accompanied with works, man. You can't just trust in the fact that you keep the commandments. If you keep the commandments, but you don't have the spirit of the Lord, then what, what, what good does that do for you? You know? Uh, Philippians 3 and 18. And there's nothing wrong with keeping the commandments, but it's the spirit you come in, okay? Because if you think about it, let's give a simple analogy. Esau could, you know, keep a commandment, so to speak. Esau, let's say Esau put a sodomite to death. Well, he's still an Edomite at the end of the day. So even though putting a sodomite to death was a part of keeping the commandments, which was a righteous thing, he's still an Edomite. The Lord's spirit still doesn't dwell with him on the right-hand side. So to what profit did it do for him? You see, that's why the Apostle Paul said the law is good if a man use it lawfully, you know, 
This is Philippians 3 and 18. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Mashiach. That's right. And why is that? Why are they enemies of the cross? It says whose end is destruction. That's going to be their result. That's going to be their reward. Destruction. Whose God is their belly. Right. Their God is their desires, man. Their own self-will. Their own pleasures. Scriptures say people shall be lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high in these last days. And you see that. Okay, it says, and whose glory is it in their shame? All right, yeah, the shameful things that Jake has, they glory in that. You know, oh, I was hitting old boy wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They glory in things that are really shameful. Who mind earthly things? That's right. Jake is really carnally minded. They, their affections are not on things above. Their affections are things on on earth, man. Okay, it says, for our conversation is in heaven. From whence we, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto His glorious body, according to the working whereby He is able even to subdue all things unto Himself. That's right. So our conversation, our conduct, our communication is in the heavens, man. That's where our confidence is. All right, and the Lord, He's going to change our vile bodies. So that goes to show you why will we glorify in the flesh when the Lord is going to change it, man? And the Lord is going to do away with this whole system. You see? So this is Jeremiah 9 and 23. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Okay? But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness and judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. That's right. You don't want to glory, all right, you know, from, from earthly things. Okay, you might have wisdom according to this world. You might have um, riches according to this world. You might have might according to this world. But if you don't have any of that according to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, then really you're nothing, man. As a matter of fact, I want to get a little uh, precept off the top. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 9. And uh, I'll start at verse um, one. O power of my fathers and Lord of mercy, who has made all things with thy word and ordained man through thy wisdom that he should have dominion over the creatures which thou hast made and order the world according to equity and righteousness and execute judgment with an upright heart. Give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne and reject me not from among thy children. For I, thy servant and son of thine handmaid, am a feeble person. Okay, this is King Solomon speaking. So if King Solomon was able to humble himself and admit that he's a feeble person, how much more us, man? It says, and of a short time and too young for the understanding of judgment and laws. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. That's right. So you could be perfect amongst men. Everybody in the world could like you. But if you don't have the wisdom of Yahweh Shema Shai, you're going to be nothing regarded, man. So why glory in things of this flesh? Glory in the fact that you know the Lord, man. 2 Corinthians 10 and 17, it says, But he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. For he that commendeth himself is approved. For, for not he that commendeth himself is approved but whom the Lord commended. That's right. So you could praise yourself all day, commend yourself all day, but that doesn't make you approved, man. Is the Lord commending you? Is the Lord approving you? Okay, because that's what really matters the most. You know, so really that's the point on that right there. I wanted to just do a little lesson on that, man. You got a lot of jigs who have confidence in earthly things, but that's some weak shit right there, man. You know, put off now the weak nature, man. Cast off the burdens of man. Let go from the mortal thoughts, man. All right? So don't worry about the carnality and things of this world, okay? Yeah, we might not have, you know, everything that Jake has, you know, wealthy Jake and stuff like that. But guess what? We do have that a lot of Jakes don't. We have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that makes us richer than everyone else, man. Okay? And the more you fear the Lord is the more you're going to grow in this thing, you know? So like the elder out of GMS Dallas made a lesson. How much power do you really want? And that all starts with fear in the Lord, man. Okay? That's where your confidence should be. In the fear of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Proverbs 14 to 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, man. You know? 
So that's just a little point. I'm sure there's more precepts you could get to back this topic up. But with that, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemesh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Chakwadash, double honors to our elders and apostles of the great millstone, the well, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel, Shalom, and a Baba Ball.